Hello, my name is Pai. I'm the photographer for Kidney March, and you might not know that I, uh, I also ran eight standalone marathons, um, seven half marathons, 35 different triathlons, and nine full Ironmans. What's an Ironman? Uh, it's a 3.8 kilometer swim, followed by a 180 kilometer bike, and then you have to run a 42 kilometer full marathon, all in one day, all with time cutoffs. So Kidney March uh, would like me to share some of the uh, tips and techniques that I've learned in the past to help my running and uh, walking techniques to help reduce injuries. I'm over 106 kilograms. I'm not the best type of athlete for, for this type of sport, but I do appreciate the importance of proper technique to prevent injuries. It's especially more important as you grow older and also uh, sometimes the heavier you are, you have to be able to um, do these events with proper training and techniques. Hey, walking's pretty easy, right? How hard could that be? Well, after 20 to 30 kilometers, you'll soon discover little pains and aches that you might not have been uh, aware of for, at shorter distances. I guarantee you, after 100 kilometers, bad technique is gonna hurt. So my first tip for you is shorter strides, okay. Longer strides, you'll pay. So what does that mean? Well, shorter strides will uh, allow you to walk with better form, and then longer strides, you, you tend to land with your heel. And the problem about landing on your heel is that's where most of your injuries come from. You see, when you land on your heel, all that energy gets absorbed by your shoe. And when you walk with a longer stride, your knees become straight and the force of your body weight shoots up from your ankles to your knees to your hips. You might not feel it now, but you'll pay for it later. The better way is to take smaller strides. This will force you to land on your toes and midfoot where your foot will absorb your entire body weight. If you can imagine running barefoot in the kitchen, you always land on your toes and midfoot like a cat and never on your heel. Remember to keep your eyes up good posture, and walk proud. I want you to try this demonstration for yourself. Take your arm out like this, and then move your hand across with, by taking large steps. This is you walking, and requires a lot of energy just to drag your hand along. Now try it with short, short steps, and you'll immediately notice it doesn't require a whole lot of energy to move across. There are two reasons why. First, big steps require your hips to pull your body weight along. So you are literally dragging your body weight through the entire distance of the stride. Secondly, with small steps, you basically let your body weight swing that leg forward and fall in place, letting the momentum and gravity do all the heavy work. Your center of gravity and your body is aligned closer to the impact zone and your feet will absorb most of the shock. The bottom line is, just by reducing your stride about 10% or more, you will greatly reduce the amount of strain and pressures that are falling on your knees, your hips, and your feet.